Well, execution is an ambiguous term. It's also used to terminate civil servants, so it depends on what <laughs> you mean by, by execution. But uh, clearly the, the meaning, the, the synonym of implementation in this context is critical uh, for government. Mm, going to the question about whether we entering 2012 with a spring in our step, I think certainly from government side and from education, we do <coughs> enter 2012 with a spring, albeit with a monkey on our backs. And the thing about having a monkey on your back is it does dramatically affect your gait, depending on how that monkey behaves. Uh, in, in government, in education, the monkey on our back is implementation, execution of, of policies. If you look at education itself, uh, major achievements by international standard, we spend very well on education in the country. In terms of uh, participation achievement, 98% of the compulsory phase, it's a very good measure. 93% of uh, grade R uh, uh, cohort is enrolled at schools, a very good measure. But the monkey on our backs continues to be continuous poor quality of that education system, despite the spending. The good news is that uh, government has been brave in 2011 to introduce fairly dramatic, unprecedented accountability measures. For the first time, we independently measured learner achievement from grade three, grade six and grade nine, and exposed what's in all, what was going on there. Up to that point, very few people knew the problems that were there. We were even blamed almost as if going to a doctor is a problem, uh, discovering that the doctor tells you you're gravely ill. But what that does is it provides a basis for accountability. So the spring in our step is that we're going to 2012 with the national consensus around accountability. We have an accord which transcends labor, business, et cetera, predicated on accountability. We're addressing the question of teacher absenteeism, for example, and I've made the point that if we control for our structural limitations, teacher ability, the things difficult to solve, and we deal with the basics, teachers being school on time and so forth, we can improve learner performance by a visible quantum in the education system. So there's that elasticity in the system at the moment waiting for us to grasp. And the mechanism for grasping it is the accountability mechanism. Many people, I mean, I'm interested in your take on the unions because the unions are either a constraint or a partner. How do you see this shifting? Because many people argue the union uh, has the system by the throat. Look, uh, the, the question of unions is a fairly complex one, and it's not helpful often to oversimplify it. Uh, unions are made up of membership, and they're driven by elections, like many others are. But currently, in this period, if you look at the accord and so forth, certainly at the level of union leadership across the federations, across teacher unions, we've got a like-mindedness that's probably unprecedented in our history. The problem comes in on the ground, school by school level. The problem comes in when you look at uh, an increase in youth membership in the unions and how youth politics affects membership of every organization and the content of its politics. But the point is, I wouldn't suggest that unions as a uh, broad statement, a throwaway statement, can be described as the problem. I think there's been significant shifts which shows <coughs> commitment to the basics and a preparedness to cooperate. In a how, how would we as the general public hear and feel those shifts? Look, I think that the implementation uh, unchallenged of external assessments which laid bare the problems of quality in the system is a major development. Uh, it has been resisted before, but we laid bare, and teachers who administered those tests, we found, did it fairly honestly and sincerely. The results were appalling by any standard. There are countries which I won't mention when they introduced these things, they hired people to write the exams in order for the country not to look too bad internationally. South Africans are very honest. We produced in its full glory pass rates of about 24% and 25%. Uh, we did it and we put it out in public. But it's a diagnosis and people mobilize it. I think that's significant and the unions didn't resist that. And I mean, can you want to expect that in that performance regime for many teachers to be <coughs> exited from the system for non-performance? Look, uh, as I said, the big issue is accountability. And the question is, as you develop accountability, and as the teeth begin to emerge and the teeth begin to bite, people's reactions may be different. The question is not only the unions. The question is whether government and managers have the commitment to implement it. I speak as a civil servant now. Often, the problem of dealing with poor performance is not necessarily the person culpable for poor performance, but the reluctance of the manager, my managers, to implement uh, performance management. So we concede that, and we say we need to deal that. We need to deal with that 
purposefully to ensure that uh, the benefits of accountability begin to be seen in the system. <music>